So a couple weeks ago, I did a Timu haul where I showed you all the stuff that I got in prepper-wise from Timu. One of the things I got the most requests to review separately on was this particular little camping stove. So today, we're taking a look at this camping cassette stove that I picked up from my Timu haul previously. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So one of the first things that I ask a person who's interested in being prepared, what kind of cooking situation do you have at home? Uh, do you have a gas stove? Do you have an electric stove? Most people these days, at least around where I live, have electric stoves. It seems that they don't think that, you know what, if the power goes out, my electric stove doesn't work either. So it's really handy as a prepper to have a backup way to cook. And that is what's so cool about stuff like this. It's small, it's compact, you can put it away, yet it's big enough that you can actually put a regular size pot on the top of it or pan and cook with it. Um, these are actually a pretty good deal right now. They're very budget friendly. I believe they're $27.49. Uh, they are on sale, so it's a savings of about 46% from their previous price. So this thing is really compact and portable. They call it a cassette stove because there's an interesting feature to this. You would think this maybe connects to an isobutane canister underneath, or maybe there's a little tube that comes out and connects to a one-pound propane bottle, but it doesn't. This actually, in the back here, connects to one of these, butane fuel. And it does stick out a little bit, you know, a little tiny bit out of the back. But it's perfectly safe. I've used this a couple of times now, hadn't had that heat up or anything. Uh, and I think it's a really handy kind of thing, you know, just something to consider. Even if you don't consider this one, definitely get yourself some kind of stove. And the other neat thing about butane fuel is even though it's gone up in price quite a bit, it's still cheaper than, you know, the propane. Uh, my local Walmart, which is the cheapest place that has it, has a two-pack of the propane, the green one-pound canisters, for about 10 bucks or 11 bucks, I think. I forget. Uh, that's gone way, way, way up. There was a time where there was two, there were, those were like two fifty nine each or something. So it's gone way up. I'm glad I'm very well stocked up on those. Uh, but this is kind of neat because you're able to cook with it and you're able to put it away in a place where it's not going to stick out somewhere. But you're able to cook with it when the power is out. It's also portable, not super heavy. So you can take this with you wherever you go if you have to bug out. So I think having some kind of backup cooking situation is really important when it comes to uh, your food and your preparations. Um, I tell them, first of all, get water. That's your first prep. Stock as much water as you can. Your second prep is, how are you going to boil that water? How are you going to cook? How are you going to wash clothing? Whatever. You need water. You need hot water to do a lot of these things. And with an electric stove, you can't do it. So let's get into the stove a little bit here. This does have a very efficient burner. Uh, it's a very powerful little stove for what it is. Uh, it is made of a uh, light kind of stainless steel on the top here and just really sheet metal on the bottom. I'm going to give you a look at it. This comes off, by the way. It does have a spark thing there so you can start off your fire without having to use a lighter. And that's the bottom of it. There really isn't much to it. You know, it's a pretty simple stove. You will notice this is a magnetic connector here, so that will just kind of snap in there and magnetically connect to the front of your thing, your canister, and you'll lock it into place. These are very secure. I was kind of worried when I first started seeing them show up on a lot of devices, these big magnets here, but they're very secure and they work very, very well, and they're actually pretty, pretty darn cool. So you don't have as much finagling to get it in there. You literally just push it in. The magnet connects to the top here. You put that little notch where that other notch is in there, and you're good to go. A little turn, and it's in there nice and tight. So it's about 8.46 inches across this way, okay? Across this way, 7.48 inches deep, okay? And you can use this for pretty much anything, even if you don't want to use this as an emergency stove. You can take this camping, picnic, whatever, and you can cook your food right there on site without a whole lot of hassle. It does come in a couple of colors. I'll leave you a link down below where you can check it out. But what I'd really like to do with this is to test the efficiency out, doing a boiling test. Now, I have not tested this bo boiling water. I have turned it on. I've played with it a little bit, but I have not really cooked anything on it or tested it boiling water. So what I'd like to do today is hook up the uh, butane to it and see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. So let me get the butane connected and we'll show you how that works. All right, so there you go, see? snaps right into place that magnet will kind of jump forward you put it where the connector is on the bottom where that little cutout is and it'll go right in there no problem at all now to start the stove is fairly simple you're just going to flip it over turn it once you do that little click at the end 
that's where your spark comes from okay it is running i don't know if you can see it turn off the top light to let you take a look at the flame pattern very nice blue flame pretty darn powerful and a decent size for what it is so let's put the light back on and put this little grate on top another nice thing about this is it's not too small I was kind of concerned when I first saw this online, thinking, well, you know, it's not going to work with smaller pots or pans. But I have a little 750, 750 milliliter Tom Shoe titanium cup, and that sits right on there perfectly, no problem at all. So you won't have a problem with smaller or bigger pans. And let's face it, you're not going to run out and buy a bunch of camp pans to cook inside your home during an emergency. You're probably going to be using your own home pan. So there you go. So we got two cups of water here. Okay. And I'm going to pour it into this cup here. And I'm going to get my timer ready over here. Okay, so there's my stopwatch. We're going to start that up. And I want to put something underneath this, so give me a sec because I don't want this to get hot and melt underneath. And uh, we'll start the test. All right, so we're all set up here. I just wanted to make sure none of the heat transfers down to this mat and melts it. Turn it on. Put this on here. Lift that up a little bit so I can take it off. And we're going to put the lid on. And start the timer okay so there you go let's see how long it takes to boil two cups of water all right so i caught it right before it's about to boil there we go now stop it at three minutes 17 seconds give you a look up top you see it is boiling pretty impressive for such a small little tiny stove let's turn it off so there you go three minutes 17 seconds there's the stopwatch Definitely a handy little thing and a quick little boil time, too. That's really neat. Um, I believe the brand name on this is Kara. I don't know what the brand name is. You know, uh, a lot of these are just stamped out. The factory just stamps the name on them. But I will say one thing. This definitely seems to do its job and uh, is a very handy, affordable way to have a backup way of cooking. If you have a, like, a I'm never coming home type kit, I always recommend the butane stoves because it's easier to carry those little butane canisters. They last a good long time. When I worked in food service years ago, we used to use the standard ones like the one I used in the video yesterday for the freeze dry wholesaler stuff. We used to use those for uh, brunches. We'd make omelets with them. We were out there on the buffet line making the omelets. And uh, those things were, I mean, we beat the heck out of them. No one cleaned them. He just kind of wiped it off, put it away. No one worked on it. No one, you know, messed with it. They just worked forever, okay? So they're a very durable stove, and the butane is easier to carry, easier to get a good amount in a bag, you know? Instead of those big one-pound canisters, you can get a bunch of these little guys in a bag here. And by the way, this is not warm, which is kind of cool. I wouldn't touch that, but... You know, they're easier to carry. They're lighter. You can just stick a bunch in a, pit, in a, in a bag, carry it with you pretty much anywhere you go, and you are good to go. So definitely a handy little item. And it may not seem like something that's all that important right now. If you're just getting started and prepping, you may think, well, I can just build a bonfire in the back of my house, or I can use my camp grill or my propane barbecue or whatever. What happens when that propane barbecue runs out? And what happens when you're cooking and all your neighbors smell you cooking and know you have food and all come over to share the food that you stockpiled away while they went on vacations and cruises and spent all their money doing other things. So it's just for a matter of privacy, for a matter of being able to work in your kitchen, which you're already kind of familiar with, maybe just put these on your stove. Very, very handy. Now, I will tell you that you want to make sure you have adequate ventilation. In my kitchen, you know, we have high ceilings. I have open windows if I need them. I have a door I can open right there to my patio. I've worked, I've worked with propane and butane stoves in my kitchen without any incident, without opening a darn thing, to be honest with you. But it's still a good idea to maybe have a CO2 monitor or a CO2 alarm or, you know, a, a detector and uh, to keep an eye on things and make sure that you have adequate ventilation. If you live in a tiny little one room apartment with one little window on the other side of the room, you may want to open that window up and you may want to move this near where your window is just to get some ventilation. You know, again, yeah, it may let some of the smell of the food out, but it's not going to be as bad as you cooking on your barbecue grill in the backyard. So definitely a handy little item. Uh, like I said, again, they used to be $50.99. They're on sale for $27.49. And I think it's kind of a neat little small compact thing. And it does seem to work very well. 
three minutes and 17 seconds for two cups of water is pretty impressive boil time and i really can't complain about it so that is the portable camping cassette stove i'm going to leave you a link down below where you can pick this up now remember with timu i have my own code for your hundred dollar coupon bundle so if you get the app and you download it and you go get the uh you go to the link down below with that with that app and you click it you will get a hundred dollars in coupons back just for using my code when it says to enter the code so that's pretty cool too you can get some free prepping gear i'm not sure what people think of timu one way or the other but to be honest with you the stuff that i picked out and you get a little more discerning as you become a prepper and you've looked at this stuff for a while the stuff i picked out has all worked very very well and i haven't had any issues with it so definitely check them out links will be down below for that as well as to download the hundred dollar coupon and the app to download the hundred dollar coupon i'm sorry you want to download the app first and then use my link to get the hundred dollar coupon below that's going to be my amazon affiliate store don't forget to check that link out even if there's nothing in the store you think you want just click the link shop as you normally would on amazon we do appreciate when you do that and it helps us out it doesn't cost you a thing to do our freeze dry wholesalers link remember that link down there will save you 15 percent while you're shopping you may not see it while you're shopping but once you're done and you go to the end there and you go to that checkout window you will be able to see the iridium 242 15 percent discount people have emailed me and told me i've saved two three four hundred dollars using that so if you're planning on getting a decent you know stock up definitely use the link and save some money we have our my patriot supply link that's prepare with iridium.com i have a lot of good deals on that site so definitely check it out we got a 200 dollars off uh deal right now on a three month of food kit okay definitely a nice little deal for you there and our thrive life freeze-dried food store don't forget to check that out as well thrive makes some awesome clean wholesome individual freeze-dried ingredients for your cooking needs anyway folks thank you for watching stay safe and stay prepared